Greetings from Bethel Memorial Baptist Church. I'm Pastor Brent, and tonight is another prayer meeting night, and we looked at a verse together to try to encourage one another. Um, this afternoon, I had a chance to visit with someone in a nursing home, and they were explaining, we were talking about the work that they did when they were uh, out in the workforce, and they said, all those years that I worked, and now I've given everything to the nursing home, and they give me a daily allowance or a weekly allowance that is very minimal. And it just kind of made me think. I've been listening to the news and how yesterday in the stock market had dropped more than uh, any in one day than it has since January 2020, and that was related to COVID. And you just think of the world's coming to an end. For those of us that might be invested in it, when you actually go check, it's yes, there are losses, but it's not like everything fell apart completely. And it just made me think about what we work for in this world and, and what we hope for. Um, we have to remember that we trust the Lord. I want to open in prayer and just talk about this verse a little bit. Father, I thank you that you know what's important. You know what's of true value. And I pray that you would help us to truly know you and to walk with you, trusting you to provide for our needs, maybe not all our wants, but for providing for our needs. And really, your, your desire is to work on us, not on portfolios or not on our living conditions. You're, you, you provide for those things, but you're seeking to shape us to be like Christ. Bless us as we look into this verse now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said this part of a, a phrase that, Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. And I asked tonight, what is risky with earthly treasure? What is risky? It's very clear here. It doesn't last. Moth can, can corrupt it. The rust can destroy it. Um, and, and thieves can steal it. The more you have, the more you have to worry about protecting. And Jesus says, don't lay up those treasures. Nothing wrong with having those things, but don't make them your treasure. Uh, use them as a, a good steward of God and, and let him show you how he can bless you and how he can use your blessings to bless others. So it's risky to put your uh, hope in earthly treasure because it doesn't last. Just like the drop in the stock market, money can disappear if, if you're looking at portfolios. So then I asked this question, what is risky with heavenly treasure? Well, that doesn't make sense. There's nothing risky with heavenly treasure. If God gives heavenly treasure, it is going to be permanent. It's not going to go away. We can be assured of it. But one of the things I look at with heavenly treasure is that you have to wait. Anybody out there good at waiting? You have to put uh, your, your faith in God to trust him for what he is going to do. To know that that uh, and 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 as you're waiting, you can be distracted by the earthly treasure. So there is some some risk as you think about. Like, and we talked tonight about not doing it in pride. If you seek um, seek recognition for things that you would do that would lay up treasures, do you lose those treasures? The, the verses that suggest that there, there's a lot of unknowns about heavenly treasure. And in fact, uh, I quote a verse from First Corinthians that. That Paul says, I, my conscience is clear, but that doesn't make me innocent. It's the Lord who judges me. And he says, wait for the Lord to come. The Lord is going to show you what, and that, that passage wonderfully ends. He will show everyone their reward. And I think that would refer to the treasure. I have one more question. Why is treasure important? Why is treasure important? Whether it be earthly or heavenly. Why do we treasure certain things? What makes them important? And I want to close with the next verse. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. You know, as Jesus taught the crowds in the Sermon on the Mount, he wanted to do heart surgery. He wanted to check their hearts. He wanted them to, to give their hearts to him and that their heart would be a, a blessing. I pray, I just think about uh, how our heart needs to be checked. So I ask you, what are you treasuring? What is it that you focus on? Give that to the Lord. And if you get to heaven 
and you have no earthly treasure, you still have treasure because Jesus himself is the treasure. So I ask that you think about where your heart is as I close in prayer. Father, I thank you. I thank you for the way that you speak to us clearly through your word. And I pray that you would help us to not hold on to things of this world that cannot last. And as we wait for your return, Jesus, help us to lay up treasures in heaven and be ready to see you when you return. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless.